And now let's go live to Kabul, where the Taliban is holding another press conference at the Afghan national TV station. Now, this press conference is the second of the day, and it's been going on for almost two hours. The Taliban is covering a lot of issues. For example, they are assuring uh, the press as well as the nation of security of the construction of an inclusive government. A lot of issues are on the agenda right now, as today marks the end of a 20-year war on Afghanistan. The U.S. and allied forces pulled out completely from Kabul International Airport. And this also marks the end of America's longest-lasting war in its history. Four U.S. presidents has overseen the war on Afghanistan. And right now, uh, the Taliban is holding a press conference, and they congratulated their victory and the independence of the nation. And the Taliban official says that the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan is a nation of war and struggle. Uh, he's talking and, I don't and also, as we're hearing there, um, the Taliban spokesperson says that the world is now surprised that the Taliban could defeat the U.S., the world's superpower. Islam and Muslims can't be slaves, says the Minister of Higher Education. And free people is what the world must understand. The Minister of Higher Education's speech follows the spokesman.